So, the trick is always uh, to investigate the light. Uh, what is wrong with the light? Uh, sometimes uh, people have, uh, uh, they have troubles with their neighbors. And it makes them sick. And you can then, oh, the system, oh these and these and these. Uh, uh, we can uh, neutralize your mother or your neighbors or the tax department. Uh, you can neutralize the connection because you have made a connection with it. If you are here, this, this is you. And this is your physical body. If you have made a connection here, then whatever happens here is troubling you. If we are here in this room and somebody's hammering a nail on the outside of this building here, it does not hurt me. But the moment I make a connection, this hail, nail might go straight to my head. The only th way to do is withdraw. Cut the connection. And <clears throat> these connections, they exist on many different levels. Uh, and this is the type of connecting uh, you don't want. But somehow, we are programmed to make these connections. There are many, many different thought forms or dogmas that we have been programmed to follow. Um, and these dogmas and thought forms, uh, they make us sick because that's what, what they are, were intended for. Uh, all these dogmas and thought forms, they're all stored in your light that you're emitting, and all these light impulses, they continuously affect you. So cut them, then they don't affect you anymore, and you become a lot lighter, because your soul is done with all these things. Now, uh, Once your system is functioning properly, your body will automatically see where the problem is. And what does it need for that? A discrimination system. We're all told by the government and whatever, we cannot discriminate. Well, <laughs> then we don't. <laughs> but we have to. Your body has to discriminate what's right and what's wrong. Otherwise, it cannot do anything. If it cannot discriminate, then it's going to tolerate. And we tolerate all kinds of things. Although we know they are no good for us. Somehow, the body has forgotten uh, And the body does not regenerate every, uh, anymore. Every cell is nothing but light. Every cell is nothing but a star. It is really a star. All the processes in a cell as far as light is concerned, are identical to that of a star. And we all know that a star can regenerate endlessly. But our body doesn't. The body cells don't. They stop. I mean, I sometimes think that we, uh, we only die because we expect 
to die. That is, again, a thought form. Because since we are all connected, we are endlessly in, in relation with the whole universe. And we should get enough input to give us plenty of energy to regenerate entropy. <clears throat> Originally it was thought that the, the biophotons were emitted by the DNA. Um, but in uh, the course of uh, the university study that uh, uh, we at the moment uh, uh, do, uh, there was uh, the question, uh, again, <coughs> where do the biophotons come from? They, it was said that it was a DNA originated uh, emission, but it could, of course, be. Uh, but I was not satisfied with it. In, I have treated more than 25,000 patients. 95% of them were chronically ill or had very serious diseases. <coughs> of these 95, uh, of all these patients, I cleared 95%. That is an incredible percentage. All these people all experience it as a miracle. But whenever there is a miracle, God is present. So I thought, okay, then God must be continuously with me. <laughs> um, or, perhaps, perhaps it is not an emission, but is a reflection of the light of the soul on the cells. Because of a reflection, there is also only one. <laughs> so, when they see light coming from the cells, there might be another light source outside the cells that shines on the cells and then reflects it. And I started thinking about that. We have the reflection, we have the miracles. So, <clears throat> and the soul is part of God. And looking back over all these years, I came to the conclusion that it must have been the light of the soul that I always made clean. 